always decrease my owner's equity and expenses decrease on the debit side. I purchased stationery on the 9th of September. It's coming from the CJ, so my contra account is bank from the CPJ, and that is double five seven. Okay, so we've done stationery. Now we have water and electricity. We paid the water and electricity. Um, also classified as an owner's equity expense account. And we paid the water and electricity on the 29th. My contra account is bank. From the CPJ. Bank from the CPJ and the amount was double five six. Double five six. Okay, it's an owner's equity expense. Expenses always decrease my owner's equity on the debit side. It's coming from my CPJ, so my contra account will be bank. Okay, so just like I did uh, a little explanation for uh, the CRJ, I'm going to also do one for the CPJ. Uh, hopefully it makes some sense to you guys. Okay, so when posting from the CPJ or when posting CPJ to General Ledger. We will credit bank with the word total payments okay so in other words if this was your bank general ledger on the credit side we will write the word total payments we'll move it up now okay so why are we doing that okay well bank is an asset that increases on the debit and decreases on the credit. If I am paying, that means my bank account is getting less. So remember to always look at accounting from the business's point of view as if you are the business. So if the business paid, that means that they have less money. So my bank is going to be credited with the word total payments. So when posting your CPJ to the general ledger, we are going to credit bank with the word total payments and then all the other accounts, all other accounts will be debited with the word bank. Okay, so all other accounts, in other words, everything else is going to be debited with the word bank. So I'm just going to do a few examples. Trading stock on the debit side will be bank. Okay, my next column is wages, debit side, bank. So that's basically what we did here, grade nines. If we go look at all of my general ledger accounts now, you can see that we credited bank with the word total payments, and then all other accounts that come from the CPJ are on the debit side with the contra account, bank, bank, CPJ, bank, CPJ. All right, so please go and learn that. Um, I did do one for your CRJ as well. I'll just quickly recap that. When posting from the CRJ to the general ledger, we debit bank with the word total receipts and we credit all other accounts except cost of sales and trading stock because these two are married to one another. We will credit all other accounts with the word bank, except for these two, that's something separate. So bank will be debited with the word total receipts because bank is an asset and it is increasing. I am receiving more money. So there's my debit, which means that all other accounts must go on the credit side with the contra account bank, except for cost of sales because cost of sales is a non-cash item and is married to trading stock. 
So cost of sales will be debited with the word trading stock and trading stock will be credited with the word cost of sales. Okay, hopefully you can figure out why that is. This is an expense. Expenses always decrease my owner's equity on the debit side. And then I sold trading stock. So my trading stock got less. That is why this appears on the credit side. Okay, so now for my CPJ, CPJ is a little bit simpler. When posting from your CPJ to your general ledger, credit bank with the word total payments and debit all other accounts with the word bank. So that um, is pretty simple, hopefully. Um, I'm going to end this video here, it is quite long. Um, I will make the next one, which will be the total and totaling and balancing of the accounts. And then um, I will start the trial balance in that same video probably. Thank you, grade nines. Hope you enjoyed that and hope this was informative.